Hey, it's Teresa G coming in from her cluttered kitchen, or more like her cookbook corner, um, to um, talk about this, Giada's Italy. Um, the recipe I'm going to be making is from this book. Uh, it's called Flounder Piccata. It's her uh, modern take, I guess, on the classic flavors of piccata. Um, but I did want to um, mention this book because I went to her latest book signing a couple weeks ago at Costco. Uh, it was the second time I've met her. The first time was at the Short Hills Mall a few years ago. And it was much more crowded and much crazier. Uh, this time I got there two hours exactly before, and I was like the 20th person online. Although by the time she showed up and she was 40 minutes late, uh, it had grown immensely, the line. It was like like four aisles. It was like four aisles long. Um, anyway, um, so she was really gracious. She was really sweet. She was much more relaxed this time. Um, and it was a great time. We all had a great time waiting, even waiting online, talking about our previous book signings and things that we'd been through. Um, anyway, so um, I'm going to be cooking the flounder piccata from this. I already made the lemon and pea alfredo with long fusilli and it was to die for. So I can't wait to taste this flounder piccata. Okay, so as we can see, I have the trivet set up with some water and a bowl. It's an anger hocking bowl, I think. Um, all right, so this is how I do what uh, pot and pot. That's a cup of brown rice, brown basmati rice. This is a cup and a half of water, and it has a little bit of salt in it. Okay. I'm going to lock the lid. And I'm going to set it to manual. For 22 minutes. Okay. And after 22 minutes, I will do a 10 minute natural release. And um, that, that'll be that. Okay. Okay, the rest of this dish, all right, it's going to be done in a skillet, okay? And this is what it's going to be. It's um, some flour, with some wonder, some wonder flour, which is a quick mixing, very fine, um, fine, a very fine flour for frying things. Um... And instead of just a little bit of salt in it, I've got a little bit of Penzi's Florida pepper, which has a little bit, little bit of citrus in it and garlic. So that's in there. And we have, of course, because it's piccata, piccata means that there's capers, lemon, and butter in it. Okay, so I'm gonna cook the fish in the butter a little bit of olive oil. Okay, so that's just butter in here. A little oil. Um, okay. And I want it to be what, but whatever. So I'm gonna dredge this last piece. This is flounder. Um, and okay. So I'm gonna do away from me you, you you lay it away from you in the pan okay i want to get some all right a smaller one that way i can fit three in here all right and cook it for four minutes okay and it's just going to cook away When it's brown, I'll flip it, cook it for another couple minutes, and then do the next layer.
Okay, all the filets are done, which means it's time to make this time to make the sauce. Okay, which means I'm gonna add the last two tablespoons of butter. Yes, there is a lot of butter in this dish, and that's because it is piccata. Piccata is a lot of butter. All right, so you when the bubbles subside, then I will take, okay, once the bubbles subside a little bit more, then you put the lemon in. Okay, and you let it, Lemon and capers. And the capers. Capers are little buds of a bush. I don't know who it was who figured out that you can eat these little buds from a from a uh, bush. But you can. See, that one still has its little stem on it. Okay, so you just uh, saute this for another minute or two. Right. And the little uh, papers begin to open a little bit. And uh, the lemon begins to brown. And, uh, okay. And then I season it a little bit more of my, I like this one, the Florida pepper, because it's got citrus in it already. So just it, but it has a little bit of orange aside from the lemon, which makes it pretty tasty. Okay. So, I mean, really, it's just flounder, salt, wonder flour, lemon, olive oil, butter, and I used to this Florida seasoning, and capers, and instead of chicken broth, once this is brown a little bit, and you flip it over, you add a little bit of broth. Uh, the original recipe called the chicken broth, but I've got this fish base, so I made fish broth. Mm, better than bullion. Fish broth. I uh, um, can't really see it, but dark in my kitchen today. The fish broth. Mm -hmm. And it's really nice and brown, brown and golden. A little bit brown and golden. Then you add the broth, and you let it bubble for a minute, and then you taste it. Taste it for seasoning. Cooking the asparagus while the broth is going. Yeah. Just getting this a little bit golden. 
Okay. And now that's off, what I do is I put it to the cool side and let it just sit. And I put this on here and put a, put a cover on it. Keep it warm. I made the parsley. Let's have a little scallion in here. I thought that would be good. Yeah, my bicycle was not from uh, across the street. How about you just use your finger? Okay, well, here it is. This is the meal. That's the, the how it's plated. A little brown rice underneath. The nice brown golden piece of lemon on the side. Some cooked asparagus. And the golden crispy fish. Although I think that the fish would have been much more crispy and crunchy if I'd used the air fryer. I may do that next time. Anyway, so here it is. Giada's flounder piccata. Let's taste it. Mm. The fish is a little crunchy. It's lemony. It's buttery. Just the way piccata should be. Rice is perfect. Not one grain is crunchy or hard. The asparagus is perfect. <coughs> there you go. Flounder piccata. Perfection. So, thanks for coming in and sitting down at my table. And um, if you liked it, like it, subscribe. And press that little bell. And we'll see you again soon at my cluttered kitchen. Bye.